Okay guys, today we're going to show you how to balance a chemical equation. And what we mean by that is we are going to make every element have the same number of atoms on both sides of the equation. Now when I say both sides of the equation, I mean on either side of the arrow. Okay, This side over here is called our reactants. That's what we start with. This side over here is called our products. That's what we're producing in the chemical reaction. So when I say both sides, it's separated by the arrow. So let's look and see what we have here. We have CH4, that's methane, reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Now let's count the atoms that we have. If we look on this molecule here, I have one black carbon atom. Okay, Over here, I have one black carbon atom. So our carbon currently, we have one on either side of the arrow. Let's look at our hydrogen. One, two, three, four hydrogens on this side of the arrow. Over here, we have one, two hydrogens on that side of the arrow. If I have four on one side and I have two on the other side, that equation is not balanced. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to introduce another water molecule here, all right? So now I have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms, and I still have one, two, three, four hydrogen atoms on this side of the equation. So our hydrogen now is balanced. Okay, so, but by changing the hydrogen here by adding the water, I've also changed the number of oxygen molecules. So let's look at our oxygen on this side. I have one, two, three, four oxygen molecules. Over on this side, I have one, two oxygen atoms. Okay, so in order to make those the same, I'm gonna introduce another oxygen. So now I have one, two, three, four oxygens on the right, or the left side of the arrow, and one, two, three, four, oxygens on the right side of the arrow. So now they're the same, okay? So now that we've visually um, balanced the equation, let's put the numbers in front of our compound with our chalk. So I have one CH4 molecule here, okay? I have two oxygen molecules here. I have one carbon dioxide molecule here, and I have two water molecules here. So I put a two in front of the H2O, and I put a two in front of the oxygen. Mr. Sands, you have just a one though. You said there was a one, but I don't see yes. the one. Okay, if there's nothing there, we're, it's like, a, it's kind of a pretend one. If you want to put a one there, that is perfectly acceptable. If you want to put a one here, that is perfectly acceptable. Usually though, if there's a one, we just leave it blank. So blank means one. Mr. Sims, what yeah, are you doing? I'm balancing. You're balancing. Yes. Oh, hey, we're talking <laughs> about balancing <laughs> a chemical equation. Yep. You're not very good at that. You're moving around a lot. I, it's because I don't exercise. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I could do it well either because balancing <laughs> is like its own skill set. It is. So, okay, guys. All right. We're going to learn about how to balance chemical equations today, okay? So the goal is we want to have the same number of every atom or polyion on both sides of the equation like yeah. you saw in the introductory video clip. So that's what we want to do. Okay. So, and we're going to learn how to do that. Okay, folks, it's accomplished by changing only the coefficient. Now, there's right. a new word, not the formula. Yeah, guys, the coefficient, is, that's the big number that we wrote in front of the chemical compound. Okay. So we had two H2Os. Right. That's this number. Right. You never change the formula of the compound. Right. Ever. Once you write it down, it's there for good. You never change it. You only... To, uh, put coefficients in front For of example, numbers. what he means by that is oftentimes you might see H2O and you say, well, I need one more oxygen, so I'm going to put another two right here. No! You come out to do that. Never! Why can't you do that? Because what that does is that changes. This is a different chemical. This is hydrogen peroxide. That is not water. And this is water. That's They're right. totally different compounds, so you can't do that. Can't change the compound. The only number you can change is the number in the front. It's called a coefficient. In math class, you probably understand that. If you have a 2x, the 2 is the coefficient yeah. in algebra, right? So mm -hmm. it's the same concept. Okay. All right, so I think we should just like let's do, do some. some examples. Hey, that's the one we just did. So that was easy, right? So it's CH4. Let's just look at it more uh, graphically. Here okay. we have one carbon. Yep. One carbon. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I, I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do my H's. I got four H's, and on this side I have uh, two H's right here. Yeah. That's not good. Nope. So I'm going to change the coefficient. coefficient. Put a two in front. I got this little line here to help us kind of know where to put the line. And that gives me a total of four hydrogens on this side. Yep, the two times the two. And my two. carbons were good. Now let's do the oxygens. On this oxygen, on the right side, I have oxygens here. Now, I have only three oxygens on this side, Mr. Sanders. No. What do you mean? You have four. How do you get four? 
Because the two on the coefficient of water d applies to the oxygen in yeah. the water. Important to note, guys, O2, that's two, but this two right here multiplies the water by two. It's like right. a parenthesis, if you will. Yeah, it's like so distributing. It's a distributing, yeah. So there are actually two oxygens in two different water molecules. So hence you have four O's, and to fix that, you'll put a two here. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's do another one. All right. Ca plus N2 makes Ca3N2. Okay. Okay. The C, I got one Ca. That's good. Mm -hmm. But oh, you got it's not three good. on the right. Oh, well, I'll just put a three right here. Yeah. That works. Okay. okay. And I got N2, and I've got N2. The end. That's good. You know, one thing I like to do, guys, and just when you're first learning to balance equations, I think it's in. actually good to put the ones in. Yep. Um, later on, maybe you can just leave those out, but I think it's a wise thing to do that, mm -hmm. just to kind of learn how to do that. So it's 3, 1, 1. Yeah. And actually, on our test, probably when we have you balance equations, we'll probably have you put the ones in. Yeah. Just to illustrate that. Okay. We've already done that we just one. We did that one. Yeah. Is this is a duplicate slide. Must have. Oh, here uh -huh. we go. Here's the third one. We'll just do this one down here. All right, so potassium chlorate is what this is. Yep. Okay, my Ks. K, one there. One and one. Hey, that's good. That I'm is good. good. CL, uh -huh. one and one. Proof we are rocking. Yes, sir. Oxygen, three and uh, two. Oh, okay. Three and two, guys. If you ever have three and two, yep. make them both six. Yep, got to make Always, them six. Always, because six is the least lowest common multiple, multiple of mm -hmm. three and two. So what do you mean by... so? So I'm going to make this a six right no, here. No, no, right? you don't change that number. You only put coefficients. Yeah, I can only put something in the box up here. So to make that a six, I have to make that a two. Yeah. And to make this a six, I have to make that a three. But Mr. Sams, that kind of screwed me up, though. Yeah, I messed up your Ks I, and I the had CLs. The Ks and CLs were happy. Now they're, like, unhappy. Yeah, well, we can fix that with a Now, how many Ks easily. and CLs do I have? There's two Ks and two CLs there. So if I put a two here, it fixes it. Yeah, doesn't. you're done. Yeah. You see, you just try to get them to balance out. Yep. All right, how about this? Na plus Br2. Na? One there. I'm happy. One and one. One there. Uh, I got two BRs and I got uh, one mm -hmm. BR. Uh, not happy. So nope. I got to put a two here. Two. So that makes two NA BR. Oh. That changed your NAs. By the way, when I did that, that locks the BR2 as a one. Yeah. But it changes my NAs and I have to go back and fix it by putting a two there. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. More examples. Oh, here's a little trickier one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, guys, when you see a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides of the equation, you can treat it as a group. Yeah, actually, here's what I like to think of it. Think of SO4 yeah. as a circle. Yep. And SO4 as a circle. Now, there's three circles on the right side, and on the left side, there's just well, one. just one. Okay, and so... Put actually, a three here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is... All right, so what should we do first? Uh, put a three in front of the H2SO4. Why? Because we have three circles on the right, yeah. we need three circles on the left. So if I can put a three here, and that's like having three circles. Now that's gonna give me, so that fixes this one. That makes uh -huh. this have to be a one, right? Yeah. So that's gonna now mess up my hydrogens. How many hydrogens do I have that's on the left? That's three times two, so six. Six. So if I fix the six by putting a three, times three two here, yep. I'll get six H's. Now let's count our O's. Not the O's in the sulfate, nope. but just the O's. Because we've already taken care of the sulfate, the yeah. circle. So the free oxygens that are out there, we have three on the right and three on the left. So, hey, that's what I want. That's, that's done. So and there's two irons on the left and two irons on the right. So that's done. There's this kind of thing, guys, where you kind of go it's back. Back and forth. And forth yeah. and back and forth. You just keep checking one element or, in this case, a group of elements, a polyion yeah. at a time. And, guys, one uh, trick that I like to use when I do this is I always start with the most complicated substance yes. in the reaction. Which was this one here. work from there. Mm -hmm. If you do that, Usually you'll be works. fine. Sometimes yeah. you got to double things. Yeah. But, yeah, okay. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. This All one right. has one of those kind of, well, this one is not so easy. No, I don't so see anything the same at let's all. Let's start with the most complicated well, substance. I think this is most complicated, uh, It looks pretty Sands. complicated to me. All right. We've got NH42CO3. Yeah. And I'm, okay, so let's just start with the nitrogen. Yeah, I think we have to do element at a time. We yep. can't do groups here. We can't do groups. So, so there's, now, guys, there's an NH4, but this 2 multiplies everything in here by right. 2. So how many N's so are there? there's 2 nitrogens in there. And on this side, I just see just there's N's just in one. this guy right here. So that means i got to put a 2 here. Yep. So if this is the case, we're sort of assuming that this is going to be a 1. We may change this. We may. Okay, l let's do carbon next. Here's another trick that I do, guys. Um, start with the non-hydrogen, non-oxygen yeah. elements. Balance mm -hmm. those first, then balance hydrogen, and then balance oxygen. Sometimes you'll do oxygen and then hydrogen, but usually I like to do oxygen yeah. last. It kind of... Hydrogen and oxygen are your last things to balance. Yeah. Usually. Okay, so carbon. I've got uh, one. one carbon and one carbon. Okay. Hey, I'm going to put that at one. Okay. Let's now, go let's go with the hydrogen. Others. You do hydrogens? Okay. Hydrogens. How many hydrogens? I got, uh, now here I have six, mm -hmm. and here I have two. So that's a total and of eight on the right-hand yeah, side. Yeah, so this is eight total. 
And over on this one, I've got four, four times, times eight. two. Hey, that's eight. Hey, there. hey, hey that's eight. done. We're good. Okay, Yay. hydrogen's good. Now let's check our oxygen. O's. I got uh, three O's on the left. Okay. One, two, uh, a three O's. Hey, we're done. So that makes this Just a one. With the All one. you needed to do is put a two on that in a three. That was nice. That was pretty easy. It looked harder than it was. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. See, most of these guys, they're going to look harder than they really are. They're not right. so bad. How about this one? All right, I'll, let's start with the most complicated thing. I, well, I think that's aluminum oxide here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two and three there. Okay, so All right. let's do the uh, Start with the aluminum because we do oxygen last, right? Okay, so we'll put a two here. Okay. Okay, and okay. that uh, makes this a one. And then yep. I got three here and two oh, here. Oh, that's man. that six. The three thing. and two, we got to do the six. Yeah. So that's going to make this a two and yep. this a three, but that screws up my aluminum. That does, so this yeah. two is actually not a two, but a four. You see how we yep. kind of went back and forth, and then even the oxygen last thing yeah. didn't work very well. Yeah, you yeah. got to work through them. Yeah, just got to work through them. Now, guys, here, here's, here's something you should probably know. We've been doing this a long, long, long time. And, and me a lot longer than him. Yeah, <laughs> a lot <laughs> longer. Um, and we still have to work through these. Okay, we don't just look at it and instantly know. Some of them we can look at yeah. and know. But it's it's a problem that has to be solved. And there's a process that you'll see that we're going through. Every time we approach an, an equation that we've never seen, we, do, we go through the same process. We start with the most complicated. Yep. We just go back and forth, back and forth until they all balance out, guys. It, if, you, if you use the process that we're teaching you, you'll be able to go through these. Yeah. No problem. It's kind of like a little puzzle, really. It is. A lot of kids seem to like this. Yeah. Now, let's actually talk about um, this type of reaction. Later yeah. on, we're going to learn about uh, this is what we call a combustion reaction, which is yeah. what we did with the uh, warming of the fire and all that kind of stuff. But this is um, whenever you have a, a CH compound and you're reacting with O2, I like to use what I call the CHO2 rule. That means you balance your carbons first, mm -hmm. and then your hydrogens, yep. and then your oxygens. Yep. And then if it doesn't quite work out, you double everything. The yep. 2 stands for double. Okay, the double. And that's what we're going to do here. All right, so okay. I know this is a combustion reaction. We're going to learn about that, I think, in our next podcast. I think so. But let's uh, kind of figure this out. So I have carbons. Okay, there's two there. Dos and uh, uno. There's so one there. I'm going to put a two here. Okay. By the way, when I do that, I like to put the sort of lock in that as a one. I might change my mind and double it, but right now I'm going to leave it as a, as a one. Right. Okay, now Hydrogen. how many hydrogens? I've got six, six and I've got two, so, so I need to put a three, three. right there, right? Because three times two is six, right? Three times two is six. Now we're going to do our O's. Now the O's, all right, how many O's in CO2? There's a total of four, four there because, because of the coefficient. Because of the coefficient. And how many here? Three. Three. So that adds up to a total of seven. Seven. So to fix that over uh -oh. here. Okay. Good morning. Uh, it's not going to work, Mr. Sams. No, because nothing times two equals seven. This well, is, three wow, and a half. Three does. and a half, yeah. Let's do the doubling thing. Yeah, so, so we can't get whole numbers. We, right. want, we want to have we want whole, whole numbers. numbers. There's exceptions to right. that, but right now we're going to try and remember, let's try and get whole numbers. All right. So now we got to double it, don't we? Yep. So that means this one becomes a two. two. This two becomes a four. four. This three becomes a six. six it's kind of messy, doesn't yep. it, Mr. Seams? Yeah. And then uh, now, okay, if you now think about this, recount, them. recount my oxygens, because my carbons and my hydrogens are already good. Right. It's just my hydrogen, or my oxygens that are bad. I'll have eight oxygens here, four times two, and I'll have six times one, or six, so I have eight and six. So that adds up to 14, 14. O's. Well, I can put a seven, seven right here. A seven times two is so 14. So two, seven, four, six is there the answer. Go. Okay. All right. Show tool. Ah, well, I think that's enough examples for Yeah, them. you'll uh, get to Notice how messy this is. Practice. We're just going to have you write example uh, after example uh, after example, and then you're going to be so good at this that you're going to be, you know, some of you get better than us probably. Yep. Well, maybe not, but maybe. Maybe better than maybe. you. Better than me. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> okay.